sports center at, at ESPN for years. She happens to be a biracial woman. And she was doing a podcast with Jay Cutler. And she made some controversial comments. Now, in the past, she's been pretty openly somewhat conservative, Sage has. So the, the notion that Sage Steele was ever really hiding the ball on her politics is untrue. And she's gotten blowback pretty publicly from people at ESPN about it. Now, remember, ESPN has become MSNBC with footballs. ES, MSN, ES, I, wonder, I wonder what uh, Ben has to say about Dave Chappelle's like, uh, joke about Zionism. <laughs> I wonder if he appreciated that. ESPN spent years broadcasting whatever idiotic political statements LeBron James wanted to make and then treating them as though they were some sort of Moses on the mountain moment. Anything, anything dumb and left that athletes say is projected into the stratosphere by ESPN. It's anchors spent four years making overtly political comments about Donald Trump, for example, to very little blowback. Unless they said something so extraordinarily outrageous that it drew like intense fire, pretty much every day was just dominated by lies about policing in the United States or about systemic racism in the United States. And ESPN went woke a long time ago. So did Sports Illustrated. Like the, the entire sort of institutional sports media is way to the left of virtually all media, maybe including political media. Sage Steele is an exception to that, right? She's, she's tweeted some things that tend toward the conservative. And while she was on with Jay Cutler, she made a couple of comments. She made one comment about Barack Obama. She was asked by Jay Cutler about Barack Obama on a census form saying that he was black as opposed to biracial, which he is, right? Barack Obama is biracial. His mom was white and his dad was black. Sage Steele is also biracial. Her dad is black and her mom is white. And, uh, and here is, uh, here's what Sage Steele had to say. And, and she's like, well, what happens when you, uh, when you fill out your census? I'm like, well, I don't know when the last time I filled out my census was, but yeah. if they make you choose a race, yeah. she's like, what are you going to put? I go, well, both. She's like, well, you can't. She goes, well, what if Barack Obama chose black and he's biracial? I'm like, well, congratulations to the president. That's his thing. I go, I think that's fascinating consider, considering his black dad was nowhere to be found, but his white mom and grandma raised him. But hey, mm -hmm. you do you. White Girl Wednesday, why are you making such a big deal about race? Oh. I'm going to do me. Okay, so how dare she point out the reality, which is that Barack Obama, you know, characterizes himself as purely black as opposed to biracial. And she literally says in that clip, you can do what you want, right? That, that's fine. But it's interesting how he characterizes himself one way as opposed to another. Okay, fine. Like that, that is a fairly inoffensive comment. When I say fairly, I mean like completely. There's nothing offensive about that, right? For, for her to say that she, who has the same racial status as Barack Obama, chooses to write mixed race on her forms and Barack Obama does not is, is sort of culturally interesting. That's true. That is kind of a culturally interesting, interesting thing. And it demonstrates how our society tends to box people in to single race thinking as opposed to. I wonder why. <laughs> Bro, here's the thing. Sage Steele can fucking choose white on the senses all she wants. Okay. But because of how pervasive the one drop rule is and because of whiteness as a concept being built around exclusion and purity, it's a fucking ridiculous one, but it's just the reality. The 99.9% .9 of the public will never see her as white. Okay. Well, they won't treat her as white. They won't see her as white. I've said this before. The one drop rule, uh, despite the fact that whiteness is an ever expanding concept, because of the one drop rule, there's one group of people who will never be considered white and that's black people. And not just black people, but uh, you know, half black people, quarter black people for the most part. That's it. Are you teaching us CRT on Twitch? I mean, literally, that is CRT. That's critical race theory, boys. The reality, which is that a huge number of Americans in the United States are mixed race. So funny because black people will still view her as black, but white people will never view her as white. I had many multiracial and straight up black friends, never anything about not accepting them. What? And that continues to grow year on year. Hey, there's, there's nothing particularly controversial about that. And then she had this to say about vaccine mandates. So ESPN, Disney, they put down these vaccine mandates, like a lot of other major companies in the United States. Sage Steele is very critical of that. Here's what she had to say. I respect everyone's decision. I really yeah. do. Yeah. But to mandate it is... Um, sick. 
Mm -hmm. and it's scary. So I get it to, to an extent, but I think the mandate is what I really have an issue with. And, and I, I, I don't know, I don't know what comes next. Um, but I do know for me personally, I feel, I feel like defeated. Okay. And uh, ESPN decided that they were going to suspend her over this. So they issued a statement on Tuesday Aww. saying that Steel womp, womp. would not return to the network for a week, foregoing her noon spot on SportsCenter and has been removed as host of the 2021 ESPNW Women and Sports Summit, taking place October 18th through the 20th. So, um... Is there a fucking dumbass Ben Shapiro won't defend? Okay, get to the Dave Chappelle shit, man. You will be fired unless you take this vaccine. Oh my God, this entire video is Trump just Sage Steele. Reality is to, to be toward the left, demographically speaking. And so Sage Steele has to pay the price for that. She put out a statement saying, I know my- Motherfucker made me watch five minutes and he hasn't talked about Dave, uh, Dave Chappelle yet. And does. But again, it is just indicative of how stupid our culture is that if you go on air- and you're a biracial woman, you say something people don't like about Barack Obama, you might lose your job over it. Or if you say that you don't like vax mandates, you might lose your job over that. Meanwhile, that's not the only politically correct attempted cancellation of the day. So Dave Chappelle has a brand new special on Netflix. And he sort of alternates his specials. He does ones that are kind of woke and then highly praised because they're not as funny, but they're woke by the, by the Rotten Tomatoes crowd. And then he does ones that are actually funny, but politically incorrect. So he uh, makes some comments in his new Netflix special. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Dave Chappelle is catering to the woke crowd with some of his specials, the ones that I don't like. And then he's actually funny on the specials where he's just like repeating shit that I would probably say on my broadcast. Got it. OK. About the, the phenomenon of TERFs, trans exclusionary radical feminists, as they are called by the trans community, meaning women who say that biological women exist. Here is uh, Dave Chappelle defending J.K. Rowling. I'm team turf. I agree. I agree, man. Gender is a fact. You have to look at it from a woman's perspective. Look at it like this. Caitlyn Jenner, whom I've met, wonderful person. That's like, that's it. Cancel. Okay, I take it back. Cancel this man. Who the fuck says Caitlyn Jenner is a wonderful person, dude? That's probably the worst thing that he said. <laughs> How are you going to say gender is a fact and then follow that up with an even worse take? Seriously, dude. I mean, my man said, I'm a turf, which is like, okay. Gender is a fact. And the worst thing he said on that fucking sequence of sentences was, Caitlyn Jenner, whom I've met, is a wonderful person. How? How, dude? This is not okay. <laughs> she murdered someone. Okay, let's keep Caitlyn going. Caitlyn Jenner was voted Woman of the Year. Okay, by the way, did that this stuff is actually? I mean, the 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 whole like pandering to Caitlyn Jenner and all that shit, like. That is something you can make fun of, okay? Like brands picking, like uh, brands wanting to be sensitive and being like, oh yeah, th there it is, Caitlyn Jenner, Woman of the Year. Like, like there, that, that was actually not uh, that bad. That was actually funny. Her first year as a woman. Ain't that something? <laughs> that was actually not that bad. I forgot, see? I forgot that there was a good joke there. Because of how taken aback I was from him saying, Caitlyn Jenner, wonderful person. Like, I actually forgot. Okay, for this sort of stuff, Glad is now lambasting Dave Chappelle. Oh my God, hold on, what? What it, was that a Ben Shapiro laughs moment? Sort of. Oh God, he's, he should never laugh, dude. I feel like his face has never, his face has never laughed before. We might have to take the L on that one. What do you mean? Bro, you're pandering so hard right now. Lol, kind of gross and intellectually dishonest. Literally every time I hop on your Twitch the last three days, you're talking about this shit, lol. White man tells a black man how he should feel. Nice, bro. Lol actually fell off. 
bro you're pandering so hard right now kind of gross and intellectually dishonest first of all this is the first fucking you're actually gonna get shot and i don't know if i'll feel bad at this point lol you've never met a white woman that's genuinely one of the biggest weaknesses of our movement you gotta stop falling for the honeypot man unironically in too deep this time fam just watch dumbass failed rp bro you've lit Dude, it's like, it's like every fucking, it, oh my God. Okay. We're not even talking about fucking, we're, we're literally not talking about like black people, blackness, anything like that. What's up fam? It's such a weird fucking thing to be like, it, it is, it's such a weird thing to be like, wow, dude, can't believe you're telling a black man how to feel. What, about black people? No. I think black people have been, have one wedge point, and it's the fact that they've been specifically targeted as far as denigrating black masculinity by making them more feminine. So there's additional trauma when you compare that to the way white LGBT people completely escape that talking about. I don't even understand what you were, what? Specifically targeted as far as denigrating black masculinity by making them more feminine. Did you just like, did you unironically make like a, you just I can't tell if this is like like a like a buck breaking take. There's no shot that this, like Tariq? Is that you? Like it hit me in the face. I, I don't understand. I was thinking about black comedians being put in dresses and shit. I'm not sure what you're referred to. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. You're talking about like <sighs> Can't have this convo with milk people. I feel like we're going too far into black people's business. I'm gonna I'm gonna see myself out of this one, okay? <laughs> Keith made me. <laughs> Some black people only see LGBT movements as uh, one that is feminizing the masculinity of black men, which is what Purple Diamonds is trying to say. I know, I I know I, I follow as a milk person. I follow some of this, uh, drama on Twitter closely. I just don't talk about it. You talking about how Dave Chappelle is a spokesperson for the black community. He has a lot of jokes that were absolutely trash, but takes, but makes salient points. So to gloss over that is strange and dishonest. You 100% were not in here when I was talking about this. There is 0% chance. Like. You just failed to comprehend anything I said, I think. Why is homophobia and transphobia so widespread in the black community? Dude, I fucking hate this take, dude. That's such a dumb fucking question. Because, like, one, like, it, it, it like, I don't even know how to address this. It's like, what, do you think homophobia and transphobia is not so widespread in the white community, dude? Like, what is this like, oh, when black people do it, it's like weird. And, and somehow it uh, probably comes from a place of like not uh, fucking being educated well enough. Like, well, what take is this, dude? Have you, have you never met like a white person? I, I don't understand. I don't like that. I, I just, I don't. Every fucking community has a lot of homophobia. The expectation that like black people somehow are magically going to be uh, woke is a fucking silly one. I don't know why. Okay. I, I don't know why. It's just, no, uh, black people, just like white people, are going to be fucking uh, uh, silly when it comes to this sort of shit. It's not like, um, it's not different. I, I don't know why your expectation is the other way, uh, even. You know what I mean? Like, why? What, what? I don't know. I know you don't realize this because you're straight, but homosexual people see this and it's significantly worse. Hmm. <laughs> ah, uh, interesting. Homosexual person who sees that black people are significantly more homophobic than white people. Hmm. I wonder if there's like other energies there. You know? 
Dave, Dave Chappelle actually had a joke about that. Or at least had a question about that. It's like, you think gay people can't be racist? Yes, they can. I live in West Hollywood. Yes, they are. Okay. And they can be transphobic too. For the record. Again, they can and they are. Low-key homosexual take? <laughs> What the fuck, dude? What a, what a fucking... Have you ever met a gay black person that doesn't like black people? Uh, I mean, I haven't met him, but there is one... There is one that comes to mind. Papela CW? Yeah. Yeah. Son of famous football, football player Herschel Walker's uh, son, Christian Walker. <laughs> anyway, anyway, Lamo, I hop in and hop out of drama. Oh, okay, dude. Zero books says Chappelle's latest show is legitimately moving. People who are angry at him about transphobia clearly have not watched the show. What? JK Rowling tweeted about you. Wait, is that a meme or is that serious? Why the fuck is J? What is she watching the show? Gotta be a meme, right? Did you just call your stream the show? It was bait. Can I ban? Oh yeah, do it. Clap them up. Okay, for this sort of stuff, Glad is now lambasting Dave Chappelle. And they're calling for Dave Chappelle to be removed from Netflix. Glad said, Dave Chappelle's brand has become synonymous with ridiculing trans people and other marginalized communities. Negative reviews and viewers loudly condemning his latest special as a message to the industry. Audiences don't support platforming anti-LGBTQ diatribes. We agree. Amazing how the people who are very much in favor of expanding every quote-unquote right to encompass pretty much every activity do not include among those rights speaking what you think about things. Then you ought to be deplatformed. So, uh, amazingly beautiful stuff here from our censorious left. Censorious left. Dude, he talked about it for like 30 seconds. This sucks. Uh, it's like 1930s race relations when he didn't want trans women in the bathroom with him. I don't want those dirty black people in the bathroom next to me in the urinals. I'd rather an Irish person because at least they look white. I mean, it's like the, the bathroom one, he like actually started out with like a really funny joke. It's just, um, the, the bathroom one was, the bathroom one wasn't even like, uh, the bathroom one was like him trying to be woke while still literally fucking just not understanding where uh, trans people are coming from. Like, that was him. And his starting point was actually pretty good. Stop saying cancel him. You literally can't. Yeah, it's just, I'm not. I don't care about that at all. Leftists, BLM bat chest. Leftists are the cancer of the West against all democratic values. True, dude. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna clap you before you become incredibly racist. So you absolute what? You dumb fuck. When she was talking about her senses, she puts bi, not white. You fucking nutsack. Listen to the shit you're watching. You ugly fuck. What is going on, bro? You all right, dude? I mean, I knew that, like, talking about this was going to fucking be annoying. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I can't, I can't be transphobic. I know a trans person. Like, that's the, uh, we, I, I forgot to even mention that part, but, like, with the Daphne story, when he's talking about his, like, friendship with a trans comedian, um, friendship with a trans comedian, like, the part that he fucking fails to recognize is that, like, and this is a huge problem, is the, the suicide rate, right? Within the trans community. It literally stems from the complete normalization of transphobia, that being, like, the normative response. And there's also, I mean, there's also literally fucking... Uh, empirical evidence to show that. You 
you know? Fuck it, I'm saying it, Dr. Umar, some good ideas. Oh my God, dude. Keith Made Me is like the number one worst chatter consistently. At least Dave Chappelle dislikes milk people and recognizes that's all I'm saying. This is funny because this is literally what Dave Chappelle was talking about in the special. Cool new term, nutsack. Fucking I'm saying it, Dr. Umar has some good ideas. He just never had a good take in the chat. I mean, I, I love his bad takes. Don't get me wrong. I hate what your chat has turned into. Keith maybe is going to fucking lose his mind when uh, Andrew's new fucking episode comes out. Andrew Channel 5 did a fucking thing with uh, Chief Keith. I am misogyny. <laughs> Do you want to donate to my foundation? It's called Help Keith Made Me Fun. He's a struggling black kid. You will watch this, but you won't watch Chief Keith Noisy Interview. If you support black people, like you say, watch Chief Keith Noisy Interview. Have you seen Chief Keith's documentary? Bro, that's, no, that's longer than my military contracts, Lamal. Can you explain what you meant by comedy policing? Like, there's so many people that literally just fucking uh, have completely... Bro, I swear that's Guap from Twitter. It's just like, dude, it could be. Uh, there's so many people that just like have fucking given up on trying to uh, enact any sort of systemic change or anything like that. Look at this wizard hat I made for millionaire socialist Hassan Piker. Um, and because of that, because of that, they just like fucking, uh, <sighs> I forgot what I was going to say. I'm totally forgetting everything, bro. I got mentioned in chat and now I know how the streamer feels every day. I, what was I saying? I totally forgot. You fuck me up with the JK Rowling thing. Oh, police and comedy. Yeah. People fucking, I don't know how to describe it, but people fucking think that like, you know, getting a comedian uh, and their stand-up special removed from Netflix is going to like, you know, have a genuine, is going to lead to genuine systemic change or anything like that. And that's not the case. It's unfortunate. It might offer like a little bit of restitution, make people feel a little bit more comfortable that like big businesses have their back, but they don't. And, uh, in the case of Dave Chappelle, it won't happen regardless. And they don't just do it for Dave Chappelle either. They do it for... They do it for everything. Like, every fucking piece of comedy. And the reality is, like, yeah, there's going to be fucking really shit takes. There's going to be really bad fucking jokes. The difference between something that, like, hits, a joke that hits, a joke that's funny, or, uh, sorry, the difference between, like, a, like a hurtful and non-humorous uh, take... And like an actual fucking slapper is how funny it is. The chatters earlier were probably referring to the fact that black and other minority communities are actually much more socially conservative as a whole in a community than average. It's a hurdle that progressives and other lefties are going to have to confront eventually. Listen to Lil Haas talk about it. Wait, am I trending? No, I'm not. Not a debate for Milk's chatter. If you like this video, please subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. <laughs>